the Eliashin IL-76, and the Lockheed C-141 Starlifta. Stand as two iconic military transport aircraft, each representing the pinnacle of aeronautical design from their respective countries during the Cold War era. While both aircraft served the primary role of strategic and tactical airlift, they were developed with distinct design philosophies and operational requirements. The IL-76, a product of Soviet engineering, was designed for rugged versatility capable of operating in harsh environments with minimal infrastructure. On the other hand, the American-built C-141 Starlifta prioritized speed and payload efficiency, becoming a vital asset for rapid global mobility. This comparison highlights the technological and operational differences that set these two heavy-lift workhorses apart on the world stage. The Eliashin IL-76TD and the Lockheed C-141B Starlifta, while both serving as heavy-lift military transport aircraft, showcase notable differences in their design and performance. In terms of dimensions, the IL-76TD has a length of 46.59 meters, 152 feet, which is shorter than the C-141, which has 51.3 meters, 168 feet. IL-76TD has a larger wingspan at 50.5 meters, 165 feet, compared to the C-141, which has 48.8 meters, 160 feet. In terms of weight, the IL-76TD has a maximum takeoff weight of 190,000 kilograms, 418,878 pounds, while the C-141B is lighter with a maximum takeoff weight of 147,000 kilograms, 342,100 pounds. IL-76, powered by four Solovev D 30 kp turbofan engines, each delivering 117.7 kN of thrust, while the C-141 uses four Pratt & Whitney TF33P-7 turbofans, each providing 90.1 kN. Performance-wise, the IL-76 has a maximum speed of 900 km per hour, 560 miles per hour, just slightly slower than the C-141B top speed, which has 912 km per hour, 567 miles per hour. In terms of range, the IL-76 can travel 4,400 km, 2,700 miles, with a full payload, while the C-141B offers a range of 4,723 kilometers, 2,935 miles. Both aircraft have impressive service ceilings, with the IL-76 capable of reaching 13,000 meters, 43,000 feet, while the C-141 operates slightly lower at 12,500 meters, 41,000 feet. Russian aerospace is setting the stage for the next evolution of its renowned Illinois 76 aircraft, with plans to develop a modernized commercial variant known as the IL-76 TD-90A. This new model is a significant upgrade of the IL-76TD, which has been a workhorse in the commercial transport sector. According to report, the upgraded variant is set to enter production 
before the end of the decade, with deliveries scheduled to begin in 2028. The C-141's exceptionally long service life was largely attributed to an extensive mid-life modification program. Its design also played a pivotal role in shaping the future of military transport aircraft, setting the standard with key features such as high-mounted, swept wings, T-tail, and a fuselage-integrated main landing gear, elements that became the norm for most large military airlifters that followed. The IL-76 has proven to be an effective tool for combating wildfires, particularly in hard-to-reach areas. Its versatility extends beyond firefighting, as the platform has also been used for airborne early warning and control missions. Equipped with an advanced radar system mounted on a rotating disc, atop the fuselage, the IL-76 provides long-range surveillance and command capabilities making it indispensable for strategic, defense, and reconnaissance operations. The C-141 Starlifta played a key role in smaller military operations, like airdropping troops and transporting heavy equipment. It also supported larger missions, such as Operation Desert Shield in the Middle East, landing in Saudi Arabia every seven minutes. One important feature was the cabin's low floor height, just 50 inches, 130 centimeters off the ground, allowing easy access through large rear doors. A hydraulic loading ramp simplified the loading and unloading of vehicles and cargo. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.